Hello, this is Franklin McMahon from Media Artist Secrets, MediaArtist.com. We are here on CreativeCow.net, and we're talking about Adobe Audition. And um, the last two lessons we did in Audition, we covered a lot of good stuff, uh, noise reduction, compression, normalization, very hard word to say, for me anyway, MP3 export, and VST uh, folders. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to just go over quickly some of the delay effects, and I encourage you to experiment. Um, Audition is one of those programs you can just noodle around in for hours, and if you really kind of play around, you know, with a little effort, you can really do some really cool stuff. And at the end, we're going to actually go over favorites, which is a very, very cool feature, and I'll show you that in a second. But let's listen to our clip one more time. Hello, this is Franklin McMahon, and you are listening to CreativeCow.net. Okay, now, by listening to that, I can tell right there is pretty much where I say creativecow.net. So we want to take just that section. Now, we're in edit view. Obviously, we could switch to a multi, multi-track multi view where we can move in um, different audio clips and, and rearrange them and stuff. But uh, for now, we're going to stay right in edit mode because that's where you can do a lot of the really nitty-gritty work and effect work on single um, audio clips. So let's select that. And um, creativecow.net. Okay, we're gonna listen. Creativecow.net. We're gonna listen to just that section. By the way, this will play the clip. This will play um, the selection I have, and this will. Creativecow.net. Creativecow.net. Creativecow. Oh my goodness! And also, what is really cool, if you right-click on any of these, you can actually set up uh, how these will play. And um, there's a lot of really cool features, and, and I encourage you Hello, to Hello, this is Franklin whoa. McMahon. Stop that, Franklin. I encourage you to kind of play around with these because there's different ways to um, kind of set up how you want Audition to actually play your clip through these buttons. So getting into effects, we're going to talk about uh, Studio Reverb. And we're going to stay in the delay effects. We're going to go down to Studio Reverb. We're going to do our little preview CreativeCow.net. 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 dramatic. CreativeCow.net. 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 As you get that, the microphone doing a little creative I'm trying to listen as well as the CreativeCow.net. CreativeCow.net. Again, there is a lot you can do to make it look Creative cow make it sound net. really Creative cow.net. Creative cow.net. Creative cow.net. Stop. And we're going to click OK for that. And we're going to play the whole thing and see what we got. Hello, this is Franklin McMahon, and you are listening to Creative Cow.net. OK. Now we could actually select that, and as we saw in the last lesson, we could actually boost the, uh, normalize it and boost the uh, amplification of that. But we're actually going to do undo. We're going to keep the selection. We're going to dive back into the delay effects and go over a couple more. There's one called Sweeping Phaser, which is very cool. And we're going to preview Creative Cow.net. Creative Cow.net. Creative Cow.net. Creative Cow.net. Creative Cow.net. As you can see, you get a whole different feel Creative Cow.net. 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 And we can change any of these parameters, but I would actually hit stop. It's a little hard to hear me with that plan. Uh, check out the phaser because a lot of really cool stuff. And one last thing I want to show you is the echo chamber, which I think is just great. And it's perfect for um, simulating different sound environments. And we're going to preview this again. CreativeCow.net. Creative That's a pretty impressive environment. I'm going to clip through a few. CreativeCow.net. CreativeCow.net. CreativeCow. CreativeCow.net. Creative. CreativeCow.net. 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 Okay. So as you can see, um, I would stick with those three, the Studio Reverb, Sweeping Phaser, and the Echo Chamber. If you uh, kind of play around with those, you can really boost up a lot of the ambient sound and make it sound really, really cool. Another thing you can do once you, um, let me cancel here. Oops, sorry about that feedback. 
Once you um, actually process this, you can switch over to multi-track view and layer. You can drag out multiple clips and layer them on top of each other to give it a little bit of a fuller sound. I'm going to go back to edit view. So definitely experiment with those, especially if you want a fuller sound. Again, there's tons of parameters. You could literally spend hours tweaking and playing with it. And I encourage you to do that because Audition has, I mean, I'm just scratching the surface with the effects. There are some really cool stuff you can do. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is favorites really quickly. As you can see, there's favorite setup. These are favorite effects that you can queue up and use just by, you know, doing the drop down menu and you can edit them and alter them. You can actually click edit or if you want to start a new one, you can really select any of the available and there's there's tons of them, believe me. Um, just select them and you can even do a, a keyboard shortcut. You can name it specifically. Uh, there's different scripting tools if you want to get uh, in, in pretty deep and doing a lot of um, macros to your file and stuff. But I'm going to close this out. If you really, um, you really want to have some of the effects that are very handy, add them to your favorites drop-down menu. And it's pretty cool. Once you do a lot of the techniques that I've shown you in the past three lessons, you'll find you'll do the same techniques over and over, and you have parameters that you really want set uh, pretty standard. So uh, favorites is a very cool way to kind of have them really handy and really available really quickly. So that wraps it up for Adobe Audition. I hope you enjoyed these three um, tutorials. Again, there's a there's a lot to explore. Audition is a great, great program. And even if you do a lot of video and editing and you're looking to kind of, um, you know, tweak your audio and boost it up, there's se several things you can do, as we have seen in these lessons, that are very simple that really go a long way. So um, I thank you for joining me, and I will see you soon.